suddenly Sheffield Wednesday have to retreat. And if Arsenal play it right here, they might manufacture something with Ian Wright and Smith and Merson all the while has been loitering on the left. And it's Paul Merson past Palmer, but not past Woods. Bright jumping with Linnigan. Oh, and the elbow was up then from Mark Bright. And that's done some real damage to Andy Linnigan. Kieran Barrett has the notebook out straight away. And Bright seemed to size up his target then. And I would feel that he's lucky that that card wasn't red. Arsenal certainly feeling that Sheffield Wednesday perhaps had their best chance to win the game on Saturday. Smith, that's a delightful touch through. And it's Ian Wright bearing down on Chris Woods and he scored! Well, he did it in the first game and Arsenal couldn't hang on. Can they do it tonight? Great play by Smith. And Wright, his 30th goal of this wonderful season for him. And if this wins the cup, what a way to round it off. Wood started to come, realised he couldn't get there. And Wright did everything right. Launched long by Woods. Bright going for it. Hurst is there. Hark's on the right now. Bright coming in. And Waddle coming in, deflected. And a goal for Sheffield Wednesday. Just as on Saturday, they've struck back in the second half. And David Seaman left stranded by a deflection. Hurst and Linnigan. And it falls for Bright. And that was a glorious chance. Dixon, who's not stopped working in either match. Davis, Jensen, Dixon again, Jensen, Campbell, and Merson can take it on, past Woods, but not far enough past him to cross the line. Kept low by Merson, it seemed to go through the goalkeeper, but he recovered. Dixon. Campbell. It'll come for Smith. Well, Woods stopped it well. Alan Smith tried to slide it low past him. And here's Waddle. Sheridan going to the left this time. It really is a monumental struggle. And no one giving way yet. Waddle. Bright! Well, if he'd have touched it, he surely would have scored. It's Winterburn with a throw. And we're dealing in seconds now, not minutes. It's a long one, looking for Linnigan. Bright back defending. Jensen with the shot! And he hasn't scored a goal since his blast for Denmark in the final of the European Championship almost a year ago and it's given Arsenal the corner Merson to take it Andy Linnigan has won the cup for Arsenal Sheffield Wednesday absolutely stunned Steve Morrow leading the applause an extraordinary ending and Linnigan a most unlikely hero defying not only the fatigue but that broken nose from the first half and leaving Mark Bright to meet this Merson corner what revenge in that Chris Wood seemed to have it couldn't hold it Graham Hyde was on the line and could only help it up into the roof of the net. Well, they might as well send Chris Woods up Wednesday, but they haven't done that. 
The corner can't get beyond Jensen, and it's over! Arsenal have made history here! The cup kings of the country! A unique achievement made possible tonight by Andy Linigan. Well, Tony Adams knows the route. He's passed this way before very recently. Then he was distracted and distressed by his part in Steve Morrow's accident. And now he's totally exhilarated by tonight's triumph. The Duchess of Kent awaits with the world's oldest and much-loved piece of footballing silverware. 1993 is going to be remembered, the year of Sheffield Wednesday's suffering, but most of all, the year of Arsenal's unparalleled achievement. The League Cup already on show at Highbury, and now they have the most treasured of trophies. The FA Cup belongs to Arsenal.